Thanks to years of switching to renewables and closing down nuclear power plants, Europe is about to face a winter in which thousands of people will die from cold. But the ensuing winter, but the ensuing winter will be even worse. Goldman Sachs predicts the price of gas by then will be 235 euros per megawatt hour. That is more than 10 times the price it was less than three years ago. Europe's reserves will also almost be drained. Even France, which has substantial nuclear energy, will not be immune to the turmoil. Whitehaven took advantage of underinvestment in the coal sector before that, that resource price started rising two years ago. But where are the gas companies doing the same thing now? The answer is they are tied up in green tape and court cases. There have been more than 3,000 gas and oil wells drilled in Australia over the past 50 years, most of them in Western Australia and Victoria. And in all that time, there has hardly been a single spill or accident. But judging by the regulatory hoops these resource companies need to jump through, you'd think they were Chinese companies using Uyghur slaves to make solar panels. One exploration permit for a gas well off the New South Wales coast was denied by previous Prime Minister Scott Morrison last year for, for purely political reasons. Former Nationals leader Michael McCormack said on Sky News in August that the PEP 11 exploration licence was cancelled because there was an election looming and, quote, we didn't want to ensure that all of those people along the central coast and the eastern coast of Australia were concerned about something that may not have happened, unquote. It's a bit jumbled, but you get the picture. There were four electorates at stake. Politicians think Australians don't like cheap energy and lucrative exports. We here at ADH TV think those politicians are dead set bonkers. The good news is that Europe is investing heavily in LNG plants to import gas. One LNG terminal has just opened off the Netherlands and Germany is building two more. Similarly, new pipelines are opening to transport the gas across the continent. But the bad news is that for Australia to increase its LNG exports would require more LNG export terminals here. And they take at least three years to build. And that's without our ridiculous regulatory constraints. The world's political instability and insecure fuel supply chains offer Australia a golden opportunity to create enormous wealth, but we need to get cracking. If only Chris Bowen, our federal energy minister, would realise it. But then again, he's also the climate change minister. If that's not a conflict of interest, what is?